Hey, it's that time of year again. I do this same video every year. What is new in the latest release of Primavera P6 Professional version 23.12? That's the latest release for on-premise. I'm gonna go through what's new and what you can expect. Before we get started, I just wanna point you to this resource that I have in case you might be on a different version of P6. Check it out, planacademy.com slash latest dash version dash Primavera dash P6. This lists all of the versions of Primavera P6 when they were released. And on top of that, we're including a link to the cumulative update tool. That's a tool that I'm going to use right now. I'll show you how it works. So I'll put a link there to it. So if you want to run the same version comparison as I do in this video, you can as well. You ready? Let's go. This is the Oracle Primavera P6 cumulative version update tool. And what I do is I choose Primavera P6 and I am looking at my latest release. Last year's version was 22.12, released in December of 22. And the latest release is 23.12, released in December of 2023. And I set that up and then I run the report and I get a report like this that explains what bug fixes or what features are new and then I kind of pare this down. So we're gonna go through this right now. Generally, let me say that there are a few little things to note in this release. As always, nothing too much has changed. Have there been a few little enhancements, a few little additions that we wanna be aware of? Absolutely. So I might gloss over some of these, but I'm gonna get focused on the ones that I really care about. Okay, so here's the first one, refinement of role limit calculation. I actually don't care about this one, so I'm gonna skip it. But this one's interesting. This is called Project Checker, and it says Project Checker improved. But I will let you know that uh, I'm not aware of Project Checker before I saw this update. And so I would actually say this should say Project Checker released. And what is the Project Checker? I'm gonna show you, let me flip over to P6 and I'll show you exactly what it is. In the latest version 23.12 of Primavera P6, if you go to the tools menu, you'll see this new entry down at the bottom called Project Checker. And it actually pops up a new little window. It's, and it allows us to perform some checks on a project. So let's go ahead and go through it really quick. Let's pick one of these standard kind of projects, Nesbit building. I'm gonna check everything on here and just actually go ahead and run it and see what I get to run. Let's see what happens. Let's open the report. Okay, and so here's the report. Project check report generated for this. Business rule checks, important one. Trying to digest exactly what this does. Click here to view all results. Okay, expand this down. I guess when we are doing so much exporting and importing projects between databases, sometimes we're ending up with um, projects that have data that is orphaned. Um, that's what some of these foreign key checks are about and unique key checks. Business rule checks are like the integrity of like your data date doesn't ever end up before your project start date, things like that. So this is all about data integrity and I guess they're releasing this. I'm not really sure, but I, I'm guessing they're releasing it because we need to do these kinds of analysis on projects when things get out of whack. So let's have a look here at Oracle's Help Center. And it says, use Project Checker to assess the health of data for projects. It looks for data that violates unique key constraints. This is database terms, foreign key constraints, et cetera. It does business rule checks, foreign key checks, unique key checks. You can read this on your own and decide if you need to run Project Checker to check for integrity. The next update says, paste data from Excel directly into Primavera P6. Hold on, it's not what you think. I got excited too, because actually we saw something similar in a previous release, but I was hoping we could take activity data from Excel and paste it and create activities, but it doesn't work that way. What we're talking about here is it says you can paste data from Microsoft Excel directly into P6 spreadsheet fields. For example, when you're planning future date assignments. Now, let me show you where this is relevant. Okay, I have a project opened up here and I'm on the resource assignment screen. And this is where we do future date planning. On the resource assignment screen on the right-hand side, this is our spreadsheet. 
and you can actually copy data from P6 and paste it into Excel in reverse. Uh, you can use this range, copy and range, paste. And so that is what we're talking about. Unfortunately, we can't do that on the activity screen yet. Maybe it's coming, maybe it's coming. Keep our fingers crossed. Okay, moving on. The next update is only related kind of niche for, for contractors that are working with the Department of Energy. They use their own proprietary data format, the CPP format, and P6 now supports that format. So you can export projects and baselines to the CPP format when P6 is connected to an SQLite or PPM database and EPDM database as well. So if you're working with the Department of Energy, that's interesting to you, but maybe not so much for the rest of us. A super small, interesting thing, but I think it's relevant. You can now see the number of projects in a group on the projects page. On the projects page here, we now have this, this field you can add, project count, just like we have on the activities screen. We now have this on the project screen, so you can actually get a total number of projects in your database. So anybody who might be doing audits of databases or just wants to, or managing a database, this is gonna be helpful for you. You can now see the total number of projects by EPS node or for the entire database. This is gonna be helpful. I promise you for those who are admins or managing all of that data. So use that. That is the project count field on the project screen. Hey, if you're looking to work on your technical skills, then Plan Academy can definitely help you. We have got the best training on planning and scheduling from theory to Primavera P6, from beginner to the very advanced level, also forensic delay analysis courses. We have got it all, the technical skills and the know-how that you'll need to succeed in project controls. Next, this one is really for administrators as well. They're making a small change to some of the permissionings. To be able to import projects from spreadsheets, you needed to be a project super user in the P6. That was your permissions. Now they've uncoupled that, so you don't need to be a project super user anymore, but they've created a privilege that you can use to allow users to be able to import without being project super users. So again, refining some of the permissionings, mainly for database administrators, this is gonna be important. Lastly, we've got a small enhancement for users of P6 Visualizer. I'm not a huge fan of P6 Visualizer. It is handy in some situations, especially for time-scaled logic diagrams. They've added the ability to put curtains on your timescale logic diagrams and Gantt chart uh, layouts in P6 Visualizer. If you're using P6 Visualizer, this will be interesting to you. Those are the major important updates and that's what you can see right now. If you go ahead and grab the latest version of Primavera P6, that's 23.12. That's all I have for you right now. I'm Michael, but I'll see you again in another video.